This is part two of the credits and refunds videos. In part one, we saw how to credit invoices and issue refunds and discuss some reasons for doing each. If you haven't done so, you can watch it by clicking here. In this video, we'll look at the reports associated with the transactions we processed and we'll reconcile the two outstanding transactions. Let's take a look at the two reports in Manage Online that will show us what has been credited or refunded. Both reports can be found under the Accounts bar. First, the Payments Report. This report shows an itemized list of payments, credits, and refunds. These two lines show the information for the invoice we credited the two calipers on. This amount is the total of the original invoice, and this line shows the amount we credited. This next set of line items shows the information for the invoice we refunded in the example of the wrong payment type. This line is the original transaction processed as cash. This line is the refund, and this one shows the correct payment method of check and the information we entered in the details box when we paid the invoice. These two line items show the transactions where we had invoiced the wrong repair order and credited back the full amount. This last line shows the transaction that was set to be paid later but subsequently credited with no payments received. In this box, we see the reconciled values for each payment type received and the total amount for the day based on total receipts minus credits and refunds. Now, let's look at the sales purchase report. Based on the selection criteria, this report is a list of credits and invoices. You can search by date range, a specific customer, or document number. Click Display to view the list. The list shows the document number, customer information, the transaction amounts, and the date. Click here to view the document. These are the credits we issued, as well as the invoices. Note the two items listed as unpaid. These are the invoice and credit we processed as pay later. We'll see how to reconcile these two transactions next. At the top of the page, these fields are populated with the total amounts for the date range selected. Now, let's reconcile the two outstanding unpaid transactions. We do this from the Sales Accounts Report. First, we'll select a date range. And click Display. Here is the outstanding credit and the unpaid invoice. To reconcile the two, we select a pay box for each and click Pay. This page is where we'll record the payments. Note that the outstanding balance is $0. To process the payments, we select a method. Since there is a zero balance, you can choose any payment method you want. You can also edit the details box if desired, then click Pay. We're taken back to the Sales Account Report page. Notice that the credit and invoice no longer appear. We can, however, select the completed box and click Display to view the three transactions, which now show no outstanding balances. That's all there is to keeping track of your credits and refunds. Don't forget to reconcile any outstanding balances from the Sales Accounts Report.